Welcome back. Time now for a check on the cyber world. Online media producer Bianca Cervantes brings us the latest on what's trending on the World Wide Web. Hey Kagan, get ready for some tear jerkers this evening. We begin by revealing that soldiers sometimes have a sidekick in becoming heroes. A bomb sniffing dog who was killed in Afghanistan on the same day his handler died has been honored with Britain's highest award for animal bravery. Theo was a Springer Spaniel mix who worked alongside his handler, Lance Corporal Liam Tasker. For five months, they went in harm's way together to find roadside bombs in Helmand Province. Tasker was killed in a firefight with insurgents in March 2011. Oh, I was just so, so proud because Liam, Liam spoke about this when he was in Afghanistan to, to his colleagues that this was someone he wanted for Theo, so well, he would have liked to for Theo. Hours after his handler was killed, Theo suffered a fatal seizure. He was awarded the Dickin Medal, an award given to animals for courage in combat. Carrier pigeons, horses and dogs have received the medal since 1943. And here you're watching a paralyzed puppy's first test drive of his new wheels. Nini lost the use of his back legs after he fell from a fifth floor balcony. He slowly drags his back legs across the floor and as hard as it is to watch, Martha, his owner, could not bear the thought of putting down her precious pup. I strongly believe that if he survived, there was a purpose for him. I mean, I didn't want to take his life. With the help of generous donations, she was able to get Nini this wheelchair. And a splashy exhibit in the depiction of male nudity in art has caused an uproar in Vienna, and the organizers have had to cover up their graphic sexual ads. The Leopold Museum opened the exhibit last week with 300 artworks of naked men. The museum wrote that previous exhibits involving nudity were mostly of women, and they believed it was time to show the history of the naked male. Posters plastered across the city showed a number of men with full frontal nudity, and people didn't like it. There was an outcry, and the museum decided to paint over the posters showing the nudity. About 180 posters across the street were covered up with red stripes. Head back to our Facebook and Twitter to check out those stories again. And remember, you can always download our mobile app for free at ktsm.com so you can have all of our news at your fingertips on your phone. And that's what's trending now in the News Center. Bianca Cervantes, News Channel 9. Thanks, Bianca. And if you're one of